Hello, fellow type ones. Um, today, I'm going to talk about a simple step that we must take to avoid a major problem down the road. Okay, so be sure to watch today's video to figure out what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, hold on, I got to change the setting here. There we go. All right. Welcome. Perhaps you are just finding me. If so, welcome. I'm so glad. Um, or you've been perhaps following me since March, which is when I started these Facebook Lives. Um, I just was really moved to want to be a source of light and inspiration for all of us living with type 1 when this whole COVID world began and everything. And so I've been sharing just inspiration and education for everybody with type 1s, type 1 since then. Um, let's see how I'm doing today. I just had lunch. Um, so I had a very low carb lunch, not much going on yet. Um, it's, it will spike, but probably later. Um, I did, well, I actually, no, I should say that I gave myself two units. Um, I drank a kombucha, which of course is like a lot of sugar, but I had just like a salad with avocado and stuff like that. So nothing's really happening yet. So it's nice and flat, but today's topic is about site rotation to avoid scar tissue. You guys, scar tissue can be a huge, huge problem because what happens is if we don't do good site rotation, injection rotation, pump location rotation, then scar tissue develops and that can take, it can take five years of doing shots, 10 years, you know, and or doing a pump. And what happens is scar tissue pockets develop and then your blood sugar levels are going to be all over the place because one day you do a shot in a scar tissue location and it doesn't really absorb well, so you go high. And the next day you do a shot in not a scar tissue location and it absorbs really quickly. And so we already have enough variables to deal with when it comes to managing our blood sugar levels. This one is totally avoidable as long as we take proper steps to avoid keep using the same spot for your shot or keep using the same spot for your pump. So. What I recommend is wherever you feel comfortable doing your shots or placing your pump, um, you know, maybe it's your arm, your belly, and your leg, right? Okay, figure out how many, now this is more important to be honest for pumpers, definitely more important for pumpers because when you have that little cannula under your skin for two days or three and it's putting insulin in, that creates a lot bigger of an inflammatory reaction than just a simple shot that goes in and then out, right? And so you pumpers, it's really even more important for you to make sure you rotate. But the people on shots that have a problem are, this is especially common in kids, is when you only have like one little square inch on your belly that you're only comfortable doing your shot there and you do it 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 there. That is a huge problem. You don't, so as much as you can on shots, don't keep using the same area. You gotta rotate, okay? But pumpers, this is a this is a much bigger potential risk because like I said, when there's a cannula in there for two days delivering insulin, um, it can create a lot more inflammation, right? It's a lot more of, of uh, uh, inflammation in the area than just a shot. So. What I suggest to pumpers, um, and tell me in the comments, you know, are you doing a shot? Are you doing, doing pumps or what do you use? Um, and how good are you at rotation? Um, what I suggest for pumpers is figure out where your areas are that you like. If it's your arm, your belly, your stomach, right? And then we have right side and left side. And then map out, do you have like four spots on your arm that you like? And maybe five spots on your belly? And maybe seven, eight spots on your leg? Right? So that's, I don't know, seven, five, four, right? So we're talking 16 spots on the right side, and then that means 16 spots on the left side. So that means you have 30 spots, or 32, but let's make it easy, 30 spots. That means each one of those spots only should be used for two days, right? So that means you have two months of spots. That means that you don't have to reuse any of those places except every two months. So if you graph it, right, you're like right arm spot number one for two days and then left arm spot number one for two days and then right arm spot number two for two days and then left arm spot number two and then right stomach spot number four, left number four, et cetera, et cetera. And so you can kind of rotate, right? Go right arm, left arm, right arm, left arm, right stomach, left stomach, right 
left, leg, 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 and you don't go all the way back to that first spot for two months if you have 30 spots. So it's really, really an important topic. Um, how good are you at rotating your sites, right? How good are you at rotating your insulin injection sites and your pump sites? Very important. So we want to avoid that scar tissue. Now, there's so many variables that, that cause blood sugar level to go up and down. And if you're feeling frustrated and like feeling like diabetes is, is you're on a roller coaster, I have a course called How to Get Off the Blood Sugar Roller Coaster. So if you want to check it out, as well as a bunch of other free resources I have on my website, my website is drjodynd.com, um, or you can just Google Dr. Jody Diabetes and I come up. And, um, you know, we also can work together. You There's a contact at the bottom of my website, contact, you send me an email, um, and we can work together. I've been helping type ones now for almost 10 years. I Gosh, working virtually with hundreds of patients around the world, all over the U.S. I talked to somebody in the U.K. today, Philippines, Australia, Jamaica. So I love helping type 1s. I've had type 1 myself for 40 years. Um, Maureen just asked, what does scar tissue feel like? Well, if you're, especially on your belly, you know, you can, you can pinch areas. Just start pinching areas that you never do a shot and then kind of, Feel and roll the skin in between your fingers like this and just you'll feel a little bump you'll feel a little heart harshness if everything else is really like squishy and rolly but then you get to a point that's like oh there's something thick there that is scar tissue okay now you can definitely break up scar tissue you just simply keep you know if it's your stomach you just keep or your arm or your leg, wherever it is, you can break it up. Just keep massaging it, massaging it, massaging it. Um, definitely can help. So thanks, Maureen, for that question. What does scar tissue feel like? Great question. So just roll your stomach and see if you feel feel any bumps. That's scar tissue. All right, so thanks for watching, you guys. I come live Mondays and Wednesdays right around 3 o'clock uh, Pacific six o'clock Eastern, and I will be launching a membership program in January. I'm so excited. I'll be training you with, with all of the education that I feel like every type one diabetes person needs to know. Um, so you get the full toolbox of tools to really confidently manage your diabetes and make your adjustments and make your settings and avoid your highs and avoid your lows. We're gonna have a positive community. Uh, I'm going to do live events in there, live Q&As in there. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Check out my website for free resources. And if you sign up for my free handouts, um, I'll have your email. So you'll be sure to notified of my membership program. So a very happy Thanksgiving to everybody that's in the U.S. And a very happy Wednesday to everybody else around the world or Thursday. And I hope to see you on Monday right back at this time, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. Have a great day. Bye for now.